Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a lead generation form using the Divi theme. So right now I've just made a new page, I've got a blank page template, and I'm going to publish. Alrighty, then I'm going to go to view page, and then enable visual builder. Alright, now we can start making our landing page here for our lead generation form. So we're just going to click our name and email. This is just going to be a simple form, and what we'll do first is we'll make a headline up top here. This is going to be my uh, catchy headline. So that's my catchy headline. And now what I'm gonna do up here is I'm just gonna make this a background color. I'm gonna make this like a blue. Let's get a little bit darker. Like that color. Maybe a little bit more blue up there. I'm gonna go back to this text module here. Make this a white text. So let's go to text. Make it white. And then we'll go maybe bold. And then let's increase the text size. In the middle and the line height. Let's put a little shadow on here. All right, and then let's make this alignment design center. All right, so it centers it. Okay, now let's reduce this, the spacing here. So let's go to the setting here, design and spacing. Zero everything out. Don't be scared to edit this stuff. Just zero it all out. All right, then you just go here to row. You get your spacing. Zero it out. Okay, and then just add what you want to add here. All right. Now let's add another section. Just a regular one. And we will do a double column. All right, and we will do, let's do a text. All right, this is gonna be, um, we'll make this just text right here. All right, and the design text, black text, and maybe 18. And the line height. 1.5 looks good. I'll do that. Let's duplicate this. And go here to settings. And go to I right, go to text and you can pick whatever. You can pick whatever font you want there. I just like staying with the default, which is usually what your default is may differ. So uh, you can, this is the default open sans. And let's center this up and make this a little bit bigger. All right, and then line height, we'll make this a little smaller. And then we'll go to spacing. And then just zero out again. Just add in what you want. Do 16. All right. And now let's do some benefits. We'll do a blurb. Design. If you want to add this one, but actually, let's, let's change this image. We'll go to the content and image and icon. We'll use an icon. Do a check mark. We'll make it green. Actually, let's make it red on the left side. All right, and then we'll use the size that we want. What about the content and I don't want any, um, actually we could have just a little bit of text there. All right, what we'll do is we'll do this one and we'll do a bowl. All right, and we'll go to the line height. And let's 
Let's bring that lotus racing down. It is down. Alright, let's let's do away with this text. I don't want to do there. Let's just do the benefits there. If you just want to edit that, you just go back right there. Go to the icon and the size right there. All right, and then let's see, duplicate it. If you don't want all that space, you just have the settings, design, spacing. something else at the bottom. Just duplicate this. Alright, then a little more spacing on the top here. Alright. And then over here we can do a cool form. So let's go to opt-in. All right, if you want to have a title here, you can you can do that if you want. So we'll just do this. Let's go to background, actually design and fields. And then let's go to the border, border width one. Okay, now let's go to background and actually design and button. Let's do our button so we can actually see it. It's going to be on a white background, but we're going to do a custom style. We'll do an orange. Uh, for text color, we'll do white. Okay, and then the text size. Let's do uh, ultra bold, photo shadow. Okay, and then let's do, uh, we'll do all capital letters when we can find the text size. All capital letters. Border with we don't want to border with, but the, the background color will be orange with a little box shadow on it. All right, and let's do five and five. Maybe I'll do a small border around it. Black. And now let's do, let's make the back of that shadow just a little bit darker. Or actually, that's the text shadow, not the, um, the text shadow back just a little bit. All right, let's go to the box shadow. There we go, make this one a little bit darker. Okay. And just check mark that for a second and go back in here and let's edit this text. And we'll, actually we'll go to background and no background color. Design and text. If you switch to dark, it goes right there. But you can edit this right here. If you want to add the text, increase to 18. Design. Let's go to center. And we're gonna make that black. And I 
actually let's just cut down this text a little bit. It just looks like too much there. All right, so you got a little form there. And if you want to make a box around it, you can. You just go design and border. All right, and let's just make that a little bit gray. And then we'll just change it up to like a groove, maybe. Maybe we'll just increase it a little bit too. And make it red. All right, so there goes a little opt-in form there that you can use for lead generation. Now, if you want to include uh, you know, something else, you can add that in. You can duplicate this and add in another headline down here at the bottom. Lost opportunity. Okay. All right, and now you have a lead generation form. Now, when you configure this, you're gonna to go to settings and content. All right, and you're gonna to go to success action. And after the action is display a message or redirect to a custom URL. So maybe you're trying to recruit somebody and you want them to go to a different page and see a different message. This is where you'd put that URL at. This is where you'd put that page. Now, if you wanna link them to your email account, which I do and I highly recommend, I use Get Response. All right, that's the one I use. That's the one I find easiest, and uh, that's the one I like to use, The and, and it works for me the best. Now, as you can see, this switched a little bit, did it? Yeah, oh, because I, you just have to add the first name on this uh, whenever you're going through. So you can uh, just configure that in the settings there. But the redirect action is the one you want to make sure that you're uh, going to the right place. So set that there for your leads. And I recommend, like I said, I recommend get response. That way you can send your leads an automatic message from you and tell them you know, what the next step in the process is, the onboarding process. And then you can set up an autoresponder series so they get an email every day at the same exact time at you know whatever time you set so that's why i use the get response autoresponder all right so once you got that set up let's go to the mobile version and see what the tablet and mobile version look like obviously this text is way too big for the uh, tablet but everything else looks pretty much pretty good so what i can do is just go to here to settings and i can go to design and text then if you scroll over go to the phone you can go to the phone and bring that down Good 26 looks good. Line height. Yeah, just leave that there. All right, and what you can do is just do this three dots and go to copy module styles. Just go down here and go to paste. All right, and it pastes the same style there. And then maybe we want this uh, padding there, so let's go to section settings, design, and spacing. And you want to make sure you're on phone so you don't screw anything up on the desktop. Okay. All right. And there's that. Let's see tablet. Okay. There's that. Maybe this goes down a little bit more on tablet. So we just go design text. And on tablet, let's just go. 42 looks good. And let's do the same thing. Copy module styles and paste. All right, super simple to get a lead generation page set up, guys. Super simple. I give away free landing pages, actually, and for the Divi theme in your email. If you want to do that, go to DiviPlanet.com. You get five free landing pages plus bonus stuff. I may even add this layout there, although I have the landing page extravaganza that you're going to want to check out if you like landing pages and lead generation. So, uh, guys, go ahead, DiviPlanet.com, check it out, and, and check, out, check out your emails. All right, I'll see you in the next video.